Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. The Madrid derby. One of the most fiery derbies in all of Spain, if not the world. A derby starting all the way back in 1906 when the sides first met and it's only gotten bigger and better ever since. After we all know they both won't win La Liga this season thanks to Barcelona's dominance and how Madrid's terrible form, it is time to look into the future of Madrid and see who has invested better in youth has better young prospects in the side and what future 11 will dominate for years to come. It's time for another future team experiment on FIFA 19. This time, we're off to Madrid. You know how it works by now. We put the best young players from either side into the starting 11, make them face off in a computer versus computer kickoff battle and then let the two sides face off in a simulated season in FIFA 19 Carimo to see who finishes higher in La Liga. Let's get into it. Make sure to slap the like button if you go on to enjoy the video. Make sure to comment down below if I missed out on anyone. Subscribe for some more FIFA 19 career mode content coming at you on a regular basis. Follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. And also make sure to vote up in the poll by clicking the i button. Who's going to win the CPU versus CPU battle and who's going to win the career mode battle in today's future team experiment. All right, we're going to start off first with the future of Real Madrid. This is how they're going to be lining up for today's future of experiment. Starting up top is their new signing, their new January signing, Brahim Diaz. He's a left winger slash center forward. He can play up front at striker from Man City. The Spaniard moved to Real Madrid in January, as well as their big summer signing, the Brazilian Vinicius Jr. One of the hottest prospects in world football at the moment. The Brazilian winger is killing it for Real Madrid this season. Has been one of their star players. Has been one of the bright sparks in this dull season for Madrid as well. We move on to Marco Asensio, a man that has been a wonder kid for Real Madrid for a few seasons now. The Spaniard is well and truly the future of not just Real Madrid, but Spain. He is still only 23 years of age, 84 rated, one of the best young players for Real Madrid. And that front three would be lethal. Brahim Diaz, Asensio and Junior make up the front three. In the midfield, we have Danny Ceballos. The man came from Real Betis, joined Real. Hasn't got too much game time on his hands, but he's still 22 years of age. Central midfielder, one of my favorite wonder kids on FIFA 16, I believe. That's when he broke out onto the scene. Uh, he's moved to Real Madrid now a few years later as well as Lorente was out on loan last season, but is back at Real. The 24-year-old CDM surely will replace the likes of Modric or Tony Cruz if they are to leave, but the Spaniard is still a solid central defensive midfielder as we move on to the young Uruguayan Valverde. The 76 overall player is 20 years of age, still at Real Madrid this season, has made a few appearances off the bench here and there, but the Uruguayan yet to achieve his full potential, still only 20 years of age, of course, and he's a bright young talent for Madrid in the midfield. As we move on to the defense, we're going to start off at right back with Odriozola, 80-rated Spanish wonder kid. He's a right back, came from Real Sociedad, the Spaniard, this summer and has performed pretty well for Real Madrid so far. He's still 23 years of age, the Spaniard, as we move on to yet another Spaniard, is going to be Vallejo, the centre-back, 22 years of age. He is pretty decent, definitely one to look out for in the future as we move on to the other centre-back position. Not many centre-back options for Real Madrid here, but it's going to be Theo Hernandez, the other Hernandez brother. The Frenchman's position is left-back, however, he's going to be our makeshift centre-back for this future Real Madrid 11 as we move on to Reguilon, the left-back for Real Madrid this season has replaced Marcelo in a lot of games and is keeping him out of the team. The 22-year-old Spaniard is definitely one to look out for in the future for Spain and Real Madrid. He would be probably replacing Marcelo. I think he's going to go to Juventus next season, but nothing's confirmed. But Reguilon is definitely one for that left-back position. He's making it his own this season. And we're going to move on to the man in net. It is going to be Luka Zidane, French goalkeeper. Obviously, his father is Madrid coach, the Madrid manager. He's taken over yet again, so he probably is going to be in the future plans for Zidane. But actually, I feel like Lunin would be a better fit, but we've put in Zidane in there just because Zidane's the manager and it's his son. But I feel like Lunin is more of the future. He's got a higher potential than Zidane. He's got 88 potential. Lunin, the Ukrainian goalkeeper, who's currently out alone at Leganes. He's definitely a bright young goalkeeping prospect for Real Madrid to look forward to in the future. As we move on to the bench, we have Mariano from the Dominican Republic. Still only 25 years of age. He might be in Real Madrid's future plans, as well as Kovacic, who is out alone at Chelsea at the moment. Still with that 88 potential in FIFA 19, Karim. Still only 24 years of age. Still relatively young as we move on to this man, Martin Odegaard, the Norwegian wonder kid, apparently doing really well for Vitesse this season in the Dutch league. Odegaard 
Killing it in the area to Viz, they got 5 star skill moves still, 4 star weak foot, 20 years of age and still has a mid 80s potential on him. Could come back to Real Madrid and do bits next season, however that is still to be seen as we move on to Oscar who's currently out on loan. Oscar who is currently out on loan at Leganes, similar to Lunen, has got an 84 potential in FIFA 19 career mode and is a pretty decent wonder kid. I feel like he can have the same impact as Asensio did a few seasons ago. Asensio came back on loan from Espanyol. It developed his career, got him game time, and I feel like Oscar can do the same thing with Real Madrid as well. Espanyol has a pretty decent potential in FIFA 19 career mode. We move on, two more substitutes. It's gonna be Hakimi, the man on loan at Dortmund, has got a bright future ahead of him, the Moroccan. However, he's got a lot of competition in that right back spot as we move on to Tejero, yet another man out on loan for Real Madrid. 72 overall already, he's got decent potential on him. As we move on to the reserves, the people that couldn't quite make it into the starting 11 or the substitutes, it's going to be De Thomas, the Spanish striker, Garcia, Sanchez, Gonzalez, Zidane is going to be, Zidane actually should be on the uh, substitutes bench as he's higher than Altuve. But we move on to some lesser known young prospects or wonder kids such as Gonzalez, Sione, Altuve, the Argentinian Feu Lassier, Fidalgo, Mayoral, Hernandez and Lopez are going to finish off this team. That is going to be the future 11 for Real Madrid. This is how they're going to line up in the 4-3-3. Very, very exciting stuff for Real Madrid. And I personally believe that Real Madrid have got the better Wonder Kids here and have a brighter future. Even though they haven't had the best seasons this season, I feel like in the next few years, Real Madrid are going to come back and make an even bigger comeback with these young up-and-coming talents for Real Madrid. It's an exciting future for the city of Madrid. And yeah, they've got a lot of young talent on their hands. But let's move on to the future of Atletico Madrid. All right, we move into the future of Atletico Madrid. Definitely not as prolific as the future of Real Madrid, but still some decent wonder kids that are making an impact this season, especially. So obviously both Madrid sides building in the future. And we're starting up with the front two. It's gonna be Angel Correa, the Argentinian, still 24 years of age, can play right mid and striker. And his partner is gonna be Gus Cez up top. This Spaniard is 64 overall, got a decent potential in FIFA 19 career mode and should uh, develop in the next few years as we move on to the midfield definitely the strongest part of this future Atletico team as a lot of them are starting for them in real life as we move on to Thomas Lamar the new man from Monaco recently moved to Atletico Madrid still only 23 years of age can play in the midfield can play on either flank the Frenchman is definitely part of Atletico Madrid's future plans as well as the midfield partnership in Thomas Party and Rodri. Rodri, a new Spanish midfielder who's come on the scene with 90 potential this season in FIFA 19 Corrimo. Definitely a central midfielder to pick up as well as Thomas Party, still only 25 years of age. He's pretty versatile. Uh, the Ghanaian midfielder starting for Atletico Madrid this season. They are definitely into the future plans of Atletico Madrid as we move on to the left midfield. It's going to be Sol, the Spanish midfielder, still only 24 years of age. I feel like he's been a wonder kid that's been around for ages. Yeah, but that midfield is looking so good for Atletico Madrid. Definitely the strongest part as we move on to the defense. Uh, he's got some weaknesses and some strengths. We move on to our makeshift right back, Montero, the Spaniard. Can play left back as well and center back, but he's going to start off at right, at right back for us a 65 rated center back and we have one of my favorite defenders in FIFA 19 career mode Jose Maria Jimenez if you watch my Bayern Munich channel make sure to check it out but he has been an absolute gun for us the Uruguayan center back 84 rated he's going to be the captain of this team he's going to be partnered with Perez the Argentinian 18 year old center back still is 70 overall has got an 80s potential on him in FIFA 19 career mode we move on to Lucas Hernandez 83 rated left back slash center back I know he's moving to Bayern Munich Munich in the summer and he's not going to be Atletico Madrid so uh, for next season but we've just had to include him here because as you'll see as we move on to the substitutes Atletico Madrid haven't got that much young talent I know don't abuse me in the comments I know Hernandez is off to Bayern but we've just put him in here so Atletico Madrid can kind of uh, compete with Real Madrid in this battle but yes of course he's off to Bayern this summer he won't be part of their future plans but still as we move on to a future keeper, Dos Santos, the 20-year-old Brazilian, hasn't really made his mark there yet, but the goalkeeping spot is one that uh, is to be desired for Atletico Madrid. Not too many young goalkeepers for them. As we move on to the bench, of course, Oblak is on the bench as he's still only 26 years of age. Goalkeepers don't tend to retire until they're in their late 30s, 35 onwards, so Oblak could still have a big future for them. Malejo, one of the only wonder kids in Atletico Madrid that have a face, as you can see here. I don't know how he's 18 years of age and he's bold already. I don't know what happened to him, 
But yeah, Malejo is 18 years old. He's bold. Then we move on to Tachi, Moya, Carlos Isaac, Joaquin, and Caro on the bench. All wonder kids with decent potential for Atletico Madrid. They just have no faces. And I just realized that I missed out on someone that was sitting on the reserves. It is Jelson Martins, currently out on loan at Monaco. But yeah, the 23-year-old Portuguese winger is definitely one to look out for for Atletico. He's going to be in their future plans for the next few years. The Portuguese winger is yet again another bright star for Atletico. But yeah, the rest, they haven't developed yet. Paveda, Carlos Isaac, Solano, Pinchi. And yeah, this man out on loan at Parma this season. The Uruguayan is 20 years of age. He could have a big future at Atletico. You never know with these wonder kids, Pinchy. But yeah, that is the future of Atletico Madrid. A lot of unknown wonder kids that could pop up in the next few seasons for Atletico Madrid and for teams out on loan. But yeah, that is going to be the future of Atletico Madrid. This is how they're going to line up today. And let's get into the CPU versus CPU battle. All right, these are both teams ready for kickoff. 77 attack, 79 midfield, 77 defense. With 72 attack, 77 midfield, and 73 defense for the future of Atletico Madrid. Both four stars. Let's get into it. All right, here we are. The stage is set at the Santiago Bernabeu here. The big Madrid derby as Lorente leads out Real Madrid and Jimenez leads out Atletico. It is going to be another fiery clash between the Madrid pair. Vote up in the poll by clicking the i button in the top right hand corner. Who's going to win in this big CPU versus CPU clash? Let's get things underway here at the Santiago Bernabeu. And we're up and running here thanks to Real Madrid. Raheem Diaz gives it off to Vinicius Jr. They're starting off early here. The future of Real Madrid. They've crossed it into the middle. It's going to be Valverde with the header. And it's literally the first attack of the match. Straight off kickoff. Valverde, the Uruguayan gets the future of Real Madrid into the lead here with the one goal advantage. The header sinks into the bottom right hand corner. It is the future of Real Madrid wasting no time here in the CPU battle. Vinicius Jr. with a delicious cross in the middle from the Brazilian and Valverde met it with the header unmarked and the keeper couldn't keep that one out. Real Madrid, the future, a 1-0 up against their fiery Madrid rivals. What a start to this match. Can the future of Atletico Madrid come back in this massive match? Let's wait and see. Is it back? Thomas Party. Rodri gives it through to Angel Correa. What's he going to do? He gives it off to Thomas Lamar. Can he get a strike away? Just goes above the crossbar. Real Madrid a let off there. Thomas Lamar definitely should have put that one on target. Vinicius Jr. Gives it through to Audrey Zola. The right back running up. Asensio gives it off to Lorente, but it's a poor shot from the Spanish midfielder. Lucas Hernandez on this left-hand side. He's crossed it in. That's a good-looking cross. And what a save from the Ukrainian Lunin. What a save on Thomas Partey's header. That could have easily been the equalizer for Atletico Madrid and Diego Simeone's man. What a save. Gives it off to Vinicius Jr. Brahim Diaz. What a beautiful ball into the path of Danny Ceballos. And that is the second for Real Madrid. Los Blancos go 2-0 up against the future of Atletico Madrid. And that is a beautiful finish from Danny Ceballos into the top left-hand corner. The Spaniard have doubled the future of Real Madrid's lead here. That is unsavable for Dos Santos. And it's Brahim Diaz with the assist. So the Spanish connection there fired into the top left-hand corner. Danny Ceballos take a bow, son. And the future of Real Madrid get the two-goal lead right before halftime. And that is going to be halftime. Real Madrid, the future of Real Madrid, go 2-0 up into halftime at home at the Santiago Bernabeu. They definitely look the strongest side, but let's get into this second 45 and see if Atletico Madrid can claw their way back into this game. Right, the future of Atletico Madrid are going to get us underway for the second half. Malay Ho is on the bold 18 year old. Get another goal. We're trying to make one. Danny Ceballos puts the ball through to Vinicius Jr. He finds Asensio. Asensio slips it through to Brahim Diaz and he hits the side netting. Real Madrid can't get the third. Vinicius Jr. He's going to find Lorente in the middle. And it somehow made its way to Valverde and Asensio with a beautiful strike there. But De Santos makes a really crucial save for the future of Atletico Madrid. From Real Madrid at the moment. Vinicius Jr. finds Areguilon down the left hand side. Now they. Having a little one-two partnership, but Reguilon swings it in, and that was nearly the third. All right, it's going to be a change for Real Madrid. Valverde, one of Real Madrid's best players this game, and the man who scored the header is coming off for Oscar. And Lorente is coming off for the Croatian Kovacic. Thomas Lamar gives it through to Party. Party gives it off to Malejo, and it's just over the bar from Malejo. It could count here. Lamar gives it off to Rodri. Montero, can he find someone on the wing? Yes, he can. It's Lamar. He's waiting for Montero's run. Smart play from Atletico Madrid. Thomas Party swings it in, but it's going to be Rodri with the strike. 
and yet again it's off target from the Spanish midfielder and the future of Atletico Madrid can't get the goal to half the deficit at the moment. Lamar, no, Theo Hernandez wins, wins it and Vinicius Jr. gets out strength by Montero there, the left back, the right back. Asensio has won it back here. Asensio gives a little through ball into himself. Marco Asensio at the back post. It's going to be Kovacic and it's snuck in for the third. Matteo Kovacic for the third. The Croatian midfielder came on for Lorente and has sealed the three points, has sealed the victory for the future of Real Madrid. How has that goal happened? We will never know, but Real Madrid are 3-0 up against the future of Atletico. Asensio with a cross I thought was too overhit, but somehow snuck its way in after Dos Santos saved it and it just he flapped at it and it ended up in the back of the net. I feel like it's gonna be a Dos Santos own goal. And it is Dos Santos with the own goal, but Mateo Kovacic got the header on it. 3-0. And that is gonna be full time the future of Real Madrid with a rather comfortable 3-0 victory against the future of Atletico Madrid. In this CPU battle, unfortunately for Atletico Madrid, not many positives to take out of the match. Real Madrid just just played way better and were just more clinical in front of goal, especially that man Danny Ceballos. But don't worry, Atletico Madrid fans, there is time to get revenge in the career mode simulation season. So let's see who wins in the career mode battle. All right, we're in FIFA 19 career mode. We're taking charge of Villa Real, but it's going to be focused on the future of Atletico Madrid and the future of Real. We're going to simulate the whole season and see how they do in La Liga. Who will finish higher? I'm pretty sure Real Madrid will, but... We'll see what happens in the Champions League and the La Liga and the Cups even. Let's see how both sides do at the end of the season. All right, we've reached the end of the career mode season simulation for La Liga. Let's see where the future of Real Madrid and the future of Atletico Madrid ended up. You can see towards the bottom of the table, they're not in the bottom half. Let's have a look and see where they ended up. No way, Atletico Madrid finished in second. The future of Real Madrid finished in 7th. So Atletico Madrid lost the CPU versus CPU battle, but they ended up winning the career mode battle, going in 2nd place. Runners up in La Liga, Real Madrid missing out on European football, finishing in 7th place. We're going to see the Copa de España and see uh, where they ended up getting knocked out. It seems like Atletico Madrid lost to Barcelona 5-2 on aggregate. The future of Real Madrid got knocked out in an El Clasico in the round of 16. And we move on to the UEFA Champions League Barcelona there in the final. The future of Real Madrid got knocked out 4-3 on aggregate to Manchester City in the semi-final. So they were one away goal away from being in the Champions League final. Let's see where Atletico Madrid got knocked out they must have got knocked out in the group stages let's have a look they got they came third in the group stages in group a let's see how they did in the europa league then the future of atletico madrid not performing too well in europe but they did really well in la liga so let's see and atletico madrid ended up getting knocked out in the round of 32 3 to an aggregate to lazio and in the uefa super cup the future of atletico madrid won it against the future of Real. So in the career mode simulation, the future of Atletico doing quite well up against their Madrid counterparts and uh, making up for that loss in the CPU battle. Let's see the top goal scorers. It looks like Angel Correa for Atletico Madrid got 17 goals in their second top goal scorer. Mariano for Real Madrid got 12. Lamar for Atletico got 11. And in the top assist, Sayo and Lamar got six assists each, as well as Rodri getting six in there as well. But that is going to be it for the future of Real Madrid, taking on the future of Atletico Madrid. A bright future to look forward to for both Madrid sides. As Atletico, I feel like they won the career mode simulation, finished higher in the league, finished in second, and also won the UEFA Super Cup as well. Real Madrid went further in the Champions League however didn't make it to the final that is going to be the end of the future versus FIFA 19 experiment if you guys did enjoy and want more of these video make sure to like the video slap a like on it comment down below on who I should do next to hit subscribe that big red button we're on the road to 10k already follow me on Twitter the link is in the description I've been BCHD thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the very next video